Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mocha Lover Mister, and let's continue our United States of Greater Austria campaign. So last time, we had the radical idea that we should go ahead and invade Russia. Well, that was a very, a very radical idea. And, uh, yeah, we're on a time crunch. We are on a very, very tight time crunch, because we gave Serbia Montenegro last time, but they're going to demand more. And I, wait. Wait. Uh, let's see. What does that do? So I'll get a claim on Volvodina and West Benant. West Benant, Volvodina, even though Serbia doesn't own Shrezhem. Hmm. They want this territory too. They keep claiming more and more territory. I don't like that. And we'll probably go to war with them, to be honest. Which means we'll go to war with the Belgrade Pact. We'll have to fight some of the Romanians. So. Let's see. Italy has... I don't want to take the Italian soldiers because they have to defend against the Third International just in case because they're beating the Reichs Pact already. The Ukrainians do have some soldiers on the front up here, but not a bunch. I say that we're going to continue trying to do this. Uh, actually, you know what? Take, take you. You're weaker. Just go, just go ahead and go across and go somewhere else because we really don't need to take too much more of the Russian Empire. We're 91% of the way towards capitulation. Uh, we don't have any soldiers really down here. I'm going to need a full army to defend the center, pretty much full army, and then a really a good army around here to defend against Romania. Uh, let's see, how many more days do we have until World Serbia wants to go to war with us? Does this tell us? 43 days left, so we got, like, really 30 days to beat the Russians, which we have no guys up here, god dang it. Uh, yeah, you guys aren't going fast enough. We need you to hurry this up. I, I need you just to take territory, please. Please take territory. Please, guys. Oh, I guess we got some guys down here not doing anything. That's a big no-no. Uh, you just get down here to here to Verny. Go all the way over here or something. Take you. Just get all the way over here or something. Take as much territory as you freaking possibly can. And then you're just going to come like up here. Or actually right there. Chelyabinsk. Never been there. Probably will never be there. And that's totally okay with me. Uh, just just go guys, please. We, we literally cannot afford to wait. Have fun in the mountains. Maybe go skiing for like half an hour and then come back. Because we don't have time to waste. Alright. You'll just go straight on here. They'll go straight on here as well. Oh, wait, what? Convoys? We lost three convoys. Why are we transporting soldiers up this way? Uh, yeah, get to Vyborg. <clears throat> That'll be good. Alright. Come on, guys. Perfect. Just, just go up the Urals, sorry. I know you're not Mountaineers, but that's okay. You're now 92% of the way. Took us five days. Oh god, I hope we can do this. See, we have three extra divisions we can deploy immediately, which is good. So that's twelve divisions. That's really not very much. Oh my god, Russia, please. Oh, they're ninety-five. We just need five more five more percent. Five more percent. That's all we need. Just yeah, come over here. And then Ooh, group artillery upgrades. Nice. It's nineteen forty. Almost nineteen forty one. Hmm. Field hospitals, because manpower is precious. Uh, Y'all come up here. You will come up here. Uh, just go like, like up here or something. Siberia is a good time of year. It's a good time of year to go to Siberia. It's only in November, so. Uh, Y'all come over here. Y'all come up here. There we go. And y'all keep doing something like that. The Russians are going to keep coming this way. Uh, actually, yeah, actually, that's, that's okay. You'll be able to cut them off if you do that. I want you to come up here, here, to here. And go maybe go around this person here. Oh, alliance with Bulgaria! Interestingly enough, it seemed as though Bulgaria had decided to petition us for an alliance between the two of our nations, setting the turbulent atmosphere of Europe and the rest of the world, claiming that an alliance between our two nations will help further strengthen uh, mutual defense. No? Yes! Definitely. So now, 
Uh, we're allied, so can we invite a faction? No, probably not. Since we're at war with um, Russia. At let's see, at ten days left, I'm going to deploy my soldiers. So we have twenty days before I'm going to deploy immediately. Deploy soldiers on the front. I really hope Bulgaria will join my faction because they, they said they wanted to. Kind of waiting. On uh, 96, four more percent, guys. Four more percent. Just go, just go, go, go. Take as much territory as you humanly can. There's no one stopping you. I could, I guess, however, send some of these guys back to Europe first. Hopefully when the event fires, I will have a little bit of time to decide on what I... I supposedly want to do, which we've already made our decision. Oof. Yeah, come down here. You come over here. Make your way to Asia. Say hi to the Mongolians along the way. Uh, you guys come here to here. Does anyone stop moving? No, good. So let's just... The Republic of Italy declared one of the Papal States. Okay. Uh, are they guaranteed... I don't think they're guaranteed anymore by... Well, maybe they are guaranteed by two Sicilies. They're fighting alone. No, that's not good. But, I mean, Two Sicilies is a puppet of the Reichs pack, so that's not too much of a worry for us. Oh, we got Vyborg. And they've joined the Donau Adria Boon. Very, very good. Go ahead and help these guys out real quick. Right, so you'll come up here. You'll make sure that they can't do anything. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much stretched as pretty much to the max. Oh, come on. Three percent. Three freaking percent. There will be no more dilly-dallying. Please. Hurry up, guys. Uh. Alright, you're good, you're good. Anyone else not doing anything? Oh, yeah, you need to keep going. Go to Tumen. Tumen? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, do -do 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 uh you guys have stopped moving. That's a big no-no. I'm going to court-martial that entire division for not moving. Hit. Pishpeck, all right. Pishpeck is down there. You guys are doing great. Four more percent. Ooh, so we get ooh, bonus for mechanized models. I didn't realize I did that. All right, cool. Tank trials would be nice, but let's do our support artillery so we can get to mountaineers to get to a little more organization. How close are we? Uh, we're not there yet, but I'm getting a little unnerved about this. Oh, god dang it. There we go. Come on. Three more percent. Three percent. It's like three percent milk. We're almost there. We've almost got it. It tastes really weird because it's three percent milk. I've never had that. I don't think they even make three percent milk, but that's okay. And then rush all of our soldiers back home. Come on, Asians, you got this. Well, wow. Mongolians look pretty thick, though. They look pretty darn thick. So many holes here. Uh, you cover up the holes. You're coming back immediately. Uh, let's see. I feel like if we capture this city, we'll be okay. Serbia. 16 days left. Come on, Russia. You can't fight your forward oh, observers. You're literally 99% of the way towards capitulation. 99% of the way. Uh, cool. And we'll get some more infantry stuff. Um, three are good. We're going to go ahead and deploy these along the Romanian border. Immediately deploy these guys. I'm going to add them to the Balkan boys. Let's see. Uh, Lotar, I guess for now. He'll be the general down here. How many tiles do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12. Perfect amount. Perfect amount. I need you. You'll be just some random other general that has no name. You'll be on this front. Hmm. 
You know, even with these 12 divisions, we might be able to break into Serbia. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I could use... I need some divisions for the center, though. That's really not good. Poland. Can I borrow divisions? Ask for... No, you're not my puppet. Dang it. Request volunteers. Oh, time for copy, though. I don't want cost to have too many. I think eight would be good enough. i put you under here. So, cover the center. Eight should be good. One, two... That, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So that's, that should be good enough. Good enough. So with them in our pact, we will definitely expand Bulgaria. If we can. Oh my... Oh, okay, we did, we did. Whew. Good. Now I'm sure the, the Serbs will try to attack us as our soldiers are returning home from Russia. So... I'm basically going to take everything and then divvy up everything else. So... Like I said earlier, I want all everything past, or everything before the Urals. So this will be all be mine. It'll be my puppet. Um, pretty much my puppet. I don't think I'm going to directly annex them, because that'd be way too much administrative cost to annex them. This is not EU4. But, uh, let's see, Japan. I'm going to give territory to Japan first, because they were the main leader, one of the main leaders for this war. So this will all become Japanese. What they want to do with it is up to them. Who they want to release, what they want to do with it. Totally fine with me. That's really not a lot. Um, Mongolia will get more of the western portions over here. So then they can go kill each other if they really want. I don't really care. Uh, they can have the Urals, I suppose. Hmm. Kind of wish I could just leave that as like a, not a demilitarized zone. That'd be actually really cool if they could add that into Y4. A demilitarized zone like of the mountains. That'd be really cool. Uh, let's see, yeah, Japan, you're going to get a lot of territory. That's all you're going to get. Uh, looks like they're taking quite a bit. Alright, let's end that turn for the Japanese. So the Mongolians are up next. Mongolian Khanate. Yo, you will get all these resources. Because without me attacking while the Russians were... Uh, do I give them this? You know what, we'll give them... We'll give them that. Because this would be a little bit too much, because I want that... Yeah, that's a little too much. Actually, I kind of wanted to take this. Well, let's see. They can have the Urals there. Actually, we can separate ourselves from the Japanese. Like, I mean, we'll lose some tungsten aluminum. Or, I mean, chromium and aluminum. Uh, we already get a little bit here. The Mongolians, eh, they could use a little bit more territory. So I'll give them that. Pass that, though. You could be a good dividing line between me and the Japanese. That'll look really disgusting. Hmm. Yeah, let's not do that. That would look too disgusting. But I think that'll be okay. Mongolians just want to expand anyway, so. So that'll look, definitely look larger. They can take out the Turkestan Khanate and Afghanistan next if they want. The Japanese got a bunch of Siberia and some resources. And I'll take the rest, just because I think I'm very a very generous leader. Very generous. See, look at all that territory Japan got. They can colonize this place, but a lot of Japanese people now. Uh, and the Mongolians definitely expanded a little bit, but without me, really, there would be no peace. So I got to immediately pause this. That's not bad, actually. It'll be interesting to see what Japan does, though. I. Oh, wait, we're still fighting Finland. Shit. Well. Everyone, get your bags. We're not done yet. Where are you guys? Oh, you're... Yeah, you were this guy's. Yeah, that's cool. So, my goal is just to defend against those pesky Belgrad Pact people. If they demand territories. Uh, unfulfilled. Oh my gosh. Look at all that seal we got now. I'm going to keep that for now. Obviously, all of my things are going to go away. All these factories and resources will go away. But that's okay. I don't want to make these... Oh. No, that's not good enough. I'm making convoys. Why? Right, what am I doing that for? Hmm. Naval bombers, interwar bombers. I don't want to make outdated stuff already. Fighters are good to have. Hmm. Motors. What do we need? We need guns and artillery, and medium tanks. Guns, artillery, and medium tanks. I want to make another line of medium of guns, and then guns and artillery. Another line of this, because we're gonna lose the factories anyways. Uh, I kind of hope that. Finland is just going to capitulate anyway, since I took out its leader. 
Yeah, fate of Russia. We'll do that soon. Oh, wait, what is that? Destruction of the Doshohar Singapore Causeway. I need to own Singapore to do that. Why do I have that? Is it because I'm in Asia now? Technically, I guess. Hmm. Well, whatever. Whatever. Alright, so, yeah, we definitely have to keep an eye on this. Western Balkans. I do have a few planes. That's good. Do I have any more planes? I got 500 old fighters, and I got a lot of fighters that I gotta get rid of. Bombers. Alright, I got some old bo bombers. Let's see. Uh, anything else? Bombers, naval bombers, transport planes. There's a lot of little stuff. Yeah, these guys are not super good, but you know, they're better than nothing. Alright, so we have our soldiers here. They're trying to get down here as fast as possible. Or at least to Finland. Uh, can't deploy anyone else. No emergency No emergency deploys here. I could emergency deploy my tanks, though. Mm, I'm, I'm definitely going to need someone for this province. Yeah, let's do that. Emergency tanks. Put you under the Balkan boys. And you're going to have to pretty much immediately attack. Spinal, sp spinal? No. Spanish Civil War is finally over. With the CNT winning, I believe. The cryptic. Uh, okay, Poland has finally joined the war. <laughs> the polish finnish war, okay. Interesting. 1940. Uh, let's do some radar, I suppose. Yeah, a lot of factories, which is very nice. Germany is still holding out, which is good. And now we've got a lot of divisions on our Finnish, on the Finnish border. So if you can, just go right ahead. Like, I don't want to cause too many casualties or anything, but, I mean, if you have, you know, a p potential to win, go ahead and do it. I mean, these are Ukrainian soldiers, so I'm not too worried about them dying. I know I'm a, t a terrible, terrible person, but that's okay. And I will release Russia as a puppet soon enough. Now, it'll be interesting to see, come on, Japan. Are you going to give the trans government anything? Or is Mongolians, what are they going to be up to? Advanced military thinking, unknown focus. Well, that's always good. Oh, they're fighting the, the Finnish, so they're probably waiting for the Finns to die first. Or anything else. <clears throat> and actually, because Bulgaria will be at war with the Serbs, if, and the Romanians, if they go to war with me, this makes me feel a lot better. So what are they up to? Since the, their focus finished, they'll probably ask us to give up territory, which I'm going to declare war on them anyway, so... I only take 60 days to do that, so... I only gave it to you if you promise not to take anything else. And you've already asked to claim, or you've already claimed that territory, so you basically lied to me. So I feel like we've got a good justification for war. I know it's kind of a stretch, but I feel that we really do. We really, really do. Good job, the Finns have no way of defending against us. We're just too strong for them. And if we're doing much better on artillery. We definitely need more guns, though. Oh my gosh. Definitely need to repair a lot of things. What are we building? Military factories. That's good. Uh, I don't want to build any of that up. No, I don't really want to repair anything just yet. Industry, very good. Very nice. Oh, we need... I ignored, I've ignored my Air Force completely this entire game. So bad. So bad. Man, I was so ready to go to war with uh, the Belgrad Pac, because they're next. And after them, I might try to take out Albania? Because they are guaranteed by Bulgaria. However, Bulgaria may be our ally, but they're not our complete and utter devotional ally. I may need to take them out to make sure that <clears throat> the Balkans are at peace under my rule. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. I don't like to leave <clears throat> a country completely independent. It should be owned by somebody. And by somebody, that should be me. But, mm, nevertheless, it's still okay. Mm. Alright. So, we actually managed to beat Russia early on. So this way, Germany won't have to fight a two-front war. We're almost done with the Finns, who has most of their military encircled. I love it. Good job, Austrians, Ukrainians, whoever else, the heck else is here. Let's see, Afrodiansa. Good. Take a little bit of water in my mouth after all that coffee. Oof. Hmm. Ah, uh, the entire Finnish military here is uh not doing so well. Uh, we got 20 days before we do anything about them. Go ahead and call in some more Ukrainian boys to help on out. I really wish there was a mechanic where you can get rid of the old guard mechanic. Like, like the general could learn that, oh, maybe my ideas are outdated. Maybe I should try this instead. 
I think that would be actually an extremely good thing to do, because, you know, some people, not all people, but some people can learn new things. You, know? you can teach old dogs new tricks, it just won't be very many. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, these guys are putting up one heck of a fight as we are continually destroying their country. Good job, guys! Field hospitals are a definite plus. I love, love, love me some logistics. Uh, yeah, I might as well add some field hospitals to everyone. Yeah, maybe not everyone. Alpine their divisions. Al oh, Alpine Jaeger division. I was Alpine there, I'm like, what's an Alpine I'm um, best in Jungen. Definitely want to convert some of you boys to that. Garnison, um, no thanks. Uh, we don't really need field hospitals for that, I think. Cavalry divisions, most definitely. They take a lot of hits. Alright, so this war should be over extremely soon. Yeah, not really worried about it. And then by that time, hopefully we'll have most of our divisions and ready to strike into Serbia. Which, of course, like I said, I'm going to give this Macedonia back to Bulgaria. I'll give, what is this? Perot back to Bulgaria. I'm going to obviously re-annex Montenegro into my country. As well as maybe Beograd. Because we need to turn Serbia at least into complete completely annexed territory or a rump state. Alright, and you just come on, can you capitulate Finland any slower? Oh, you're not even moving, that's why. No wonder, because I want to take advantage of all the factories I have from Russia, but let's see what happens. Ooh, expand the Gewerdstruppe. Right, let's do that first. Oh, we can't do that yet. Oh, we need to get this. Heavy, eh, heavy tanks, whatever. Alright, so give it one more day. They obviously won't capitulate just yet, but that's okay. Alright, so. Fate of Russia. Liberate a friendly Russia? Well, we've launched a full offensive and forced the Russian armed forces to surrender. Moscow is now in our hands. Occupy them. Uh, we'll liberate the friendly Russia. They will become our puppets. We'll lose a lot of resources, but we can obviously trade for them and they'll be fine and good with, with us. Of course, it's going to lag a little bit, but that's okay. A friendly Russia under me is a, the greatest Russia. I mean, to be honest, I mean, you know, they'll be a part of the Donau Adria Bund. So basically, now we expand all the way from Europe, all the way to Asia. Which is barely Asia, but, you know, it's still Asia nonetheless. And they're led by who? Oh, Vladimir III Romanov. You know what? That's great. We may need the Tsar to intermarry with us someday. Just because... You never know how many monarchies may be left. Oh my god, we lost so many factories. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, yeah, that's not good. Oh my god, I need so many factories. It's not even funny. I was making so many things with those factories, but that's okay. What's the manpower like of Russia? Local training barracks. 2.6 million. Oh, oh, and now you're done. Uh, since I did all the action with my boys, I'm going to go ahead and annex them. Russia, you have no divisions. You have a lot of manpower. You got quite a few factories, which you, which you took back from me, just fine. And now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna give these divisions. You know, I'm not gonna give them back to the Ukraine. I'm not going to, because I am a jerk sometimes. Let's see. You are a tank. You will come here. And I'm gonna take you two, and I'm gonna add you to here, since we lost a few divisions from few places. I'm not exactly sure where, but we did lose a few divisions. Oh, and I wanted to add you to throw you back into the war with the Germans, which I might actually join instead. Hmm. But regardless, we're going to divide you up. So you, well, we've got to kind of, hold on, let's, let's just go ahead and rearrange everything here. So, uh, we'll throw you in here, and we'll throw you under... Not Lotar. I don't want to use Lotar because actually you should be under Lotar. I need a new general. Annexation of Finland. Yeah, whatever. I should definitely be able to go to war economy. Or I should have done extensive conscription. But that's okay. Hmm. So you, the Balkan boys, actually. You can just join that. You can be up here. And then you can be, I guess, also under him. So now we have to divide everything else up. Which is totally, totally fine with me. So you, actually, we'll put you on the bigger border against Romania. We'll put you in the center. Obviously, I'm going to have to train some of these soldiers back up. You'll the 21 divisions on two tiles. Sounds like a great idea. You'll be fully facing the Serbians. And I want my tank division, which needs a little bit more supplies. It needs a few more tanks. 
which is fine. You'll start he uh there's a lot of rivers. You'll start here. And you'll try to help break into there. You we've already got everything covered. Nice. Ah, the Ukrainians, so I don't really care about them. You can fight for Ukraine. Which I actually might give Bessarabia back to the Ukraine. Let's see. You are a bunch of weak ass divisions, but you can double up on the Serbian border so we can really crush them quickly. And then some more boys over here can go help guard the center. Good. We have our orders. We are good. We are good to go. Almost. We gotta wait for the boys to actually show up first. So, you. Let's see. Fighters, fighters. We're gonna put you here. Fighters, fighters. Put you under. Oops. Put you two under him. One, two. Put you under here. Uh, put you under him. That's fine. And since we don't have that many planes, hopefully we will make some more in the future, just not anytime soon. Let's see. Well, we've got one, two. That's good. Anything else? Naval bombers. Stuff like that. Ooh, a hundred more bombers. Yeah, I'll take those. Good. It's 1941, everyone. Happy 1941. Hope you're having a great, great year. Hope you have a lot of prosperity, a lot of fun. Hope you all get wealthy. We probably won't be getting any more wealthy, just to be honest. But that's okay. That's totally okay. We can always pretend like we are. All right. Let's see. Oh, the Papal States are doing well against the Socialist Republic. Who's that? You see that tan little t tile there? Um, oh, it looks like someone landed it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Did the Germans land here? And the Ravina? Hmm. Go figure. How many more days until our justification is done? Oh, nine more days. So we got nine more days. We have to wait for things to get done. Uh, I'm going to use up as much of the finished factories as I possibly can as we build our own. Oh, we, we also... Oh, God. We really need to trade for this stuff. Uh, Yeah, Russia. That's why I liberated you. I need your goods. Tungsten... Did I have anybody here? Oh, yeah, the Russians. God, I'm going to abuse the living crap out of Russia. 33, yeah, that's good enough for me. And a little bit more oil. Ukraine, I don't mind trading. I could get it from Russia, but I'm already using Russia for two things. Oh, wait. Eh, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. I don't, want I don't want to use Russia too heavily. Just heavily enough. You know, you understand. Hmm. Oh, we're actually positive on guns. Nice. I don't ever use anti-tank. I mean, if you're playing, you know, single player like I am right now, there's really no point to use anti-tank. Maybe, except you're, if you're playing Hoi 4 Vanilla, or if you're playing the Soviets or Germans, but other than that, there's really no point. Uh, get rid of you, get rid of you, keep the rest. That's good. Tactical bombers, yeah, whatever. Good enough for now. How many days left do we have with the Finns? I'll write that. How many more days do we have left for our focus? Focus. Thirteen. Oh, and we can go to go to war already with the Serbs. Very nice. Carl, under your leadership, we have definitely made ourselves into one of the strongest factions in the world. And we need to be one of the strongest factions in our world. Actually, <clears throat> I just thought of this. Maybe we should add the Don Kuban Union to our country. I don't want to add it to Russia because that would make them way too strong. But we definitely need more allies. Seeing as the Code of Prosperity Sphere is pretty large, the Great Khan is pretty large, Entente is large, large-ish, and the Third International is pretty much our number one enemy in the world, and they will be. The Reich's Pact is doing okay, but we just need more allies to make sure that we, as a country, will be able to survive. Three, four days. How long do we have our war justification? We have it forever. Good. Now, how are our soldiers doing? They are still trying to get down here. So many of these Austrian boys are... Uh... Come on down, boys. So, but do we have enough soldiers, really, to go ahead? Uh, I would say kind of so. Kind of? Yeah, we well, got yeah, 12 divisions right there. Nice. Oh, yeah, it looks good. I would say we should be strong enough to go ahead. So. Soldiers? I don't know if you're really ready to go yet. And I'll try to manually command the tank here. So... Let's go ahead and liberate the Finns first, so we don't forget. We'll liberate them. They'll be a good ally to have. And we just lost a few more factories. That's okay. That's definitely okay. God, I need more, I need more civilian factories. Oh, we're not producing as much as we definitely need. 
Oh, uh, we need more medium tanks and support equipment. God dang it. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's 60, 70. Ooh, 70. Yeah, let's get 70. Let's get 70 structured. Let's go ahead and go to war. And call all of our allies in. And uh, here we go. Everyone is like, yeah, let's support the great United States of Greater Austria. Oh, approaching Romania's bypass. Good. And, oh, is this unfulfilled import request? Tungsten from the Russians. God dang it, Russia. Come on. What am I using you for? Oh, wait, I forgot to command my tanks. <clears throat> All right, then. That should definitely help us with an advantage. We're done with that. Let's go ahead and get the new KUK armor. Good. We are winning, which is nice. It's always nice to win, right? Hopefully we can cut the enemies apart from here. The Fourth Balkan War. The Serbians have attacked Bulgaria together with the Belgrade Pact allies. We have promised to aid Bulgaria in the event of a conflict, even though we technically started this war. Should we send volunteers or ignore this new conflict? Some are arguing for the last option, seeing the internal problems we face. But we don't have any more internal problems. We solved everything. We are perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely send some help. I just want to do a little bit of this war first, and then we'll, we will end the episode. Good. We did make some leeway already in there. Good. And immediately try to get down here if you can. Cut these divisions off. Maybe we'll be able to have a naval battle down here. I doubt it. I heavily doubt it. But I would like at least a little bit of naval conflict. Uh, you know what? I'm okay, Poland. Thank you for offering, but I'm okay with that. Come on, get down here. And we did it. Awesome. Go ahead and kill these boys off. Oh, Romania's fallen. Holy crap. They were not ready for this war. Oh, boy. Oh, and looks like the French have decided to attack again, maybe, or the Germans decided to. Well, with that in mind, we made a nice little encirclement. We have finished our war in Russia, liberate, liberated them, liberated the Finns, who is under Russian protectorate, which really says Austrian protectorate. I know, it's just, it's an old typo. But regardless, uh, we've lost 30,000 well, 30, soldiers already, but we've killed over 113,000. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, before I say, you know, my normal spiel, thank you very much for 302 subscribers. It's, uh, it's been, I don't know, some road. It's been interesting seeing how I'm slowly getting more and more subscribers. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Like this video if you're new here. Subscribe if you haven't already, even though I already have 300. That's pretty cool. And I will see you tomorrow as we finish off the Belgrade Pact and maybe finish off the Balkans and maybe expand somewhere else. Thank you so much for watching.